Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing Get the Look for Less, but instead of shopping on Netta Porter, I went to matchesfashion.com, which is another website that I knew about and have trawled, but not quite as religiously as I do with Netta Porter. But I wanted to have a look at some different options, and these are the ones that I have come up with. I'm doing screen and screen again so that you guys can see what I'm looking at and hopefully what I'm kind of thinking with the very expensive thing that I have found and also the sewing pattern version that I think would work to recreate the look. So let's get started. I have 10 things for you today. The first of which though is kind of a bit of a joke or a bit of a what were they thinking. So let's have a look. When I was going through Matches Fashion, the first thing that came up was one of these scrunchies. Uh, it's a scrunchie with a little bow added to it and it's 75 pounds. How? How? I mean, hang on, let me have a look. It's, it's grey, it's spandex. I, 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 I literally can't, it has a metal plaque on it apparently. Not that I can see. Oh yeah, little, 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 little metal feather there. But again, you can do that. You can add those. So I um, don't have a pattern recommendation for you because realistically everybody can make a scrunchie. It's one of the easiest things of things to ever do. It's a tube of fabric with some elastic in it. This one has a little bow on it which again is a fairly easy thing to do and um, then a little silver feather sewn on. So save yourself 75 quid, use up some of your scraps and make yourself one of these. I'm sorry I had to include this because that is just 75 pounds but scrunchies are really back in fashion i could definitely have one about around my little bun now and that would look very very cool i have enough more than enough fabric scraps in my stash to make myself a whole bunch of matching scrunchies for all the dresses that i love wearing so uh, yeah that's definitely something that i think i'll spend an afternoon doing i can see that being a patreon peep reward a whole bunch of scrunchies getting made but um yeah 75 quid really Really? Anyway, moving on to the actual fashion. <laughs> so the next thing that I have is this floral applique velvet evening coat by Bayan and it is £2,050. So I saw this and it made me think of one of the fabrics that the lovely Debbie bought when we went shopping on the Goldhawk Road the last time. Debbie arrived quite a lot later than everybody else because she came straight from work and she and I stayed out a little bit longer and we went back into one of the sh shops we'd been in and she found this amazingly beautiful fabric with uh, it was kind of a minty green with large red circles on it and diamantes on it and it was just absolutely stunning and she sort of liked it she was like well, what am I going to make with it and I said well what, why, why don't you make one of those like duster kind of cover uh, over kind of not coat but you know like things out of it that you wore because she wore one I think it was to the So Southampton meetup and uh, when I was trawling through matchesfashion.com I saw this and it just made me think of that fabric and that coat that Debbie had made I loved the way that that looked on her she had a very she had trousers on the top on i believe and then a beautiful kind of linen minty florally fabric crane version of it on so when i saw this bayan velvet evening coat it made me think of the kind of like duster coat that debbie had made and it's absolutely beautiful but the entire focus of this item is the fabric and if you have one of those amazing amazing fabrics that's really embellished and has a large pattern on it something like this would be a really really good way of using that and you could definitely use it as an evening coat over a gown or a dress like they have here or you could wear it over plain trousers and a plain top jeans and boots and just to brighten up the outfit without you know very simple outfit is then made fabulous with this overcoat so yeah the the outfit would then be made super fabulous with this coat now the pattern that i found is this simplicity hacking pattern and it's the 8377 and uh mum bought me for christmas one of the magazines that had this pattern in it so i have this pattern and this version here was immediately what sprang to mind when i saw this i was it, it, it so much so that there are other ones that are just as good and that will work and, and basically any kind of very simple 
pattern a cardigan or coat pattern that you have in your stash will work for this I, the simplicity pattern because i have it was immediately what sprung to mind it's a couple of seasons old now uh, going for as far back as i had to go on the site to find it but i think it's absolutely perfect and it would be a really really good way of showcasing some stunning stunning fabrics and as they show here there's many ways of hacking this pattern you could do it with the tie front you can do it sleeveless which i think would look really really cool as well especially given my love of billowy pirate like sleeves at the moment that would be very cool with pirate sleeves coming out of it although i might be getting into costume territory given that i probably would be wearing that with jeans and over the knee boots but i don't think i mind as long as i don't put pirate hat on a patch on i'll be fine <laughs> so you can belt it and you can make it cropped as well and again this is another good way if you have a smaller amount of fabric of showcasing a really beautiful fabric is doing a very simple cropped jacket like this the bayan and it's a holmer floral applique velvet burgundy and navy it's 90 percent rayon 10 percent polyester the lining is silk and it's a mid-weight velvet so it wouldn't be something that is going to keep you warm but as I say it's going to be that accent to an outfit and I just I, I saw it and I fell in love I also don't want to pay £2,050 for it so that is pick number one let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you have any fabrics that would work for that so next up I have a trio of dresses for you that I found on Matches Fashion and you can see the, my my obsession with these kind of sleeves is taking over uh, as it were I found all three three of these dresses and I have one pattern for all three of these dresses because there are variants in all of them but I think you could use this base pattern to make all three of these variants so this is the first one it's Francoise floral print bow neck silk midi dress I like that it's 100% silk the interesting thing about this one is it's got kind of like this rope detail around the neck the tie is a very chunky looking rouleau loop and it might it looks like it actually might have something in that that makes it a little bit padded as well so it wouldn't you wouldn't want to have cord in there because that would make it really stiff but there'd be there'd be a way of working it out so that it would be that nice kind of like thickness of the uh the detail there but i absolutely just loved the entire silhouette of that i like the high neck i like the little pussy bow detail you could definitely make that detachable so that you wouldn't have to have that all the time and the sleeves i love the sleeves so the next one is by erdem and it's heloise polka dot satin jacquard midi dress and this is 1900 and 45 pounds this is a hundred percent viscose on the outside and 100 percent silk on the inside and as you can see it does have this kind of like iridescent jacquard polka dot thing going on here now the sleeves are a little bit different they're raglan sleeves on this one but it has the same kind of neckline and it has the same pussy bow detail but it's a tie this time and it has the similar sleeves and a similar similar silhouette so it's not exactly the same as the previous dress but it is the same overall silhouette and that's why I think you can do all these different things with this one pattern and the third one I found was a now I'm going to butcher this Gull Hergel and I follow them on Instagram their Instagram is inspiration goals it is a pussy bow polka dot jersey maxi dress and it's 965 pounds so this one the details are it has a little Peter Pan collar and a bow it has a matching belt and then it has a little cuffs down here that match the collar and they have embroidery details on the collar and cuffs so these three to me are so 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 similar now as i say the two outer ones have set in sleeves this is raglan sleeved but they uh, these two obviously have high necks this has a collar but the sleeves are the same the skirt shape is the same the overall silhouette is very very similar so i have come up with this vogue pattern which is the 1633 and it is a really good starting point for all of these dresses I think so we have a straight skirt version which is obviously not the one that would it has inspired me but then we have this version it's really similar it has the sleeves it has the high neck it has the skirt so you can very easily have the belt made to match like this gull hergel one and again I am so sorry that I'm butchering that so yeah matching belt harlequin belts done job then you rather than put on the high collar you could put on the little peter pan collar 
and you could uh, again make a pussy bow detach detachable tie for that one so there's that one done for this one the inspiration again it looks like it has a waist detail here i'm kind of thinking that that would be a belt that would be my option i would have a belt made and then again you could you could just make yourself a very large tie to do this kind of effect again i would make that detachable because i would like the option of either having it on or having not having it on but again this dress is a perfect base for that and then this one again it is the detail in this one is this uh, large kind of rouleau loop what looks like a squidgy stuffed rouleau loop necktie and again that would be very easy to make and add on to that as a detachable thing you may want to add like hooks and eyes somewhere so that it would stay put or not kind of move around too much this pattern is a really really good base for all three of those dresses and i looked through i think i looked through about 20 pages on matches uh, fashion.com and i you know I, I i saved a lot of that style dress and it wasn't until i was whittling everything down that i realized that i had three dresses that were pretty much the same thing and then i saw this vogue dress and it was just like done that's awesome that's going to look really really cool obviously dark florals are really really in for this autumn winter so that would be how you would kind of channel this Francoise dress a this one again is 100% viscose so if you could find a polka dotted viscose like this that would be great the textile center has some viscoses that have diamonds in them rather than dots and I think that would work just as well for a solid colored look one and then for this one it's a really small ditzy it looks like polka dots yes polka dots so again viscose polka dots and then a contrasting collar and cuffs and you've got the girl hergel look as well so that's 965 pounds 1945 pounds and 1430 pounds that you have saved because those are a lot of money and all from one pattern which is awesome one of the things that i've really been looking for is coats i have a mile long list of coats that i want to make this season and I kind of really really like this Alexander McQueen one I think it's absolutely gorgeous it is a draped double breasted wool blend coat it is £4,570 now I haven't found an exact match for this pattern but Vogue have released this pattern this season and it's pretty similar it has the drape at the front although it is on a different side to the drape on the Alexander McQueen coat this drape is on the front the one on the Vogue pattern is on this side and it goes underneath the double breastedness again I don't mind that I like it I really like how they have added this red stripe along here I think that's gorgeous you could also have a play around with some color blocking that would be very very easy to do with these panels to kind of pick a line and add in a seam there as long as you remember to add seam allowance to the top and the bottom you could color block the bottom of that to make it more look more like the Alexander McQueen one although I do really like this detail here so this is a double breasted coat it has the notched collar it is very similar in shape to the Alexander McQueen one I think Alexander McQueen has these details around the cuffs and it has epaulets as well which this Vogue coat doesn't but again they would be fairly easy to add and if you have a trench coat pattern in your stash you will find that those details are probably in the trench coat pattern and the instructions for doing those will be in there as well. I know the Robson coat from Sewaholic has it and I think the Deer and Doe one has them as well. Trench coats tend to come with those kind of details so that would be very easy to borrow from that from those patterns to add on. Similar pockets similar button placement as I say the only di the only difference is that the drape from the Alexander McQueen is on the front part of the double breasted coat that folds over and the one on the Vogue coat is on the underneath you probably could switch that around if you wanted to make an exact copy but I think the inspiration is definitely there from this one and as I say I just love this red detailing I think that's gorgeous that with a bright red lining I, yeah I really want to make this coat now really really want to make it I know wool is expensive but it's not going to cost me four thousand five hundred and seventy pounds what have they lined this with so it's a 95 percent wool coat with five percent cashmere doesn't say what it's lined with not at all so you know who knows but uh, one of the things that i love about coat making is that you can add in really funky linings whenever you want so you can have a fairly normal kind of looking coat on the outside and then you can have funky funky linings which is something that i really really love doing and do do quite frequently so uh, that would be my pick 
to line my uh, Alexander McQueen copy or inspired looking coat using the Vogue 1649 pattern. Okay, so next up we have the Acne Studios Kelenor Balloon Sleeve Sweater for £340. It's 50% polyester, 45% wool, 4% nylon and 1% elastane. Now, I saw this and I love this and I particularly love this styling look here and I featured what I think are those acne trousers in the last get the look for less video that I did which were 800 pounds and there is a McCall's pattern that's pretty much the same so I can actually make this entire look I could make this because the jumper reminded me so much of a pattern that I have smooshed together myself so it's not exactly the same but it's similar enough that I, when I've made those trousers, I will wear those two things together very much like this styling photo. And I will feel like I have an Acne Studios vibe going on. So I have made this pattern before, as I say, I've got two of them so far. I will be making more this winter. It is a mashup of the Astoria jumper, which I have loads of, and you guys know I love, and the Kamatia boxy hoodie. Now I, took the sleeves off of the Kamatia boxy hoodie and I also used the body of the hoodie to grade down into the waistline and waistband of the Astoria. So I've ended up with a very bat wing looking body and then the sleeves, these bits here, I actually cut them on the fold so it comes out like that and it folds back on itself. I've used the, obviously the shoulder part of the Kamatia hoodie as well. So it's the top of the Kamatia hoodie into the body or the bottom part of the Astoria and it's given me a very bat wing looking jumper. Now this one technically isn't that bat wing, it's just kind of oversized. But the thing that reminded me of my mashup was the this part here. I really like that kind of look. So very fitted up the forearm and then going into volume on the top. I also added a roll neck to the Kamatia hoodie rather than the hood because again that was just a slouchy look that I really like. I think I'm thinking I'm going to do a tutorial on how I've smooshed these two patterns together to show you exactly what I mean because a lot of you in the last video that I did like this have asked for a pattern hacking video because a lot of the patterns that I'm recommending for these kind of dupes are almost right but you need to tweak them in some way or another so I'm going to be doing I think a video showing you how I make this and this look something like this. This is a look that I absolutely love. This is a look that I would wear a lot over the winter. I'm already trying to track down some wool so that I can make these trousers because I just love them. I think they're awesome. But I also wouldn't pay £800 for the trousers and £340 for the jumper, especially when I can make something that I love that fits me perfectly and that looks the way that exactly the way that I want it to. So I love this jumper. I love this look. I will be recreating that for this winter. Okay, so next up we have the Tibby Savannah Ram crepe bodysuit and it's £345. Now I saw this, I used to wear bodysuits all the time when I was younger. They were always incredibly uncomfortable on me. I still wore them but because one of the things I hate is tucking things into my trousers or skirt, moving around during the day and it becoming untucked and having to keep tucking it in. That just really frustrates me so I love the idea of bodysuits but for me I have a very long torso as I have mentioned many many times so I found bodysuits quite uncomfortable to wear because of the long torso issue and it would it would look great up the top but it would just yeah it would just not be a fun time so I didn't wear them I had a lot I didn't I wore them a couple of times and then realized what I didn't like about them so I didn't wear them and then bought another one so now that I sew I can make my own and the reason that I have picked this one out is because I love that it's not jersey the entire way up, although I have one of those coming. I would love to have this sort of thing with a woven top that I could wear and have jeans on and I wouldn't have to worry about it escaping. So the pattern that I have picked for this TB bodysuit is the Simplicity 8789 and it's, you know, 
pretty much perfect. It does have yokes, which the Tibby one doesn't, but it has the crossover front. I have a feeling this one has like a little press stud or a hook and eye here so that you can make it so that it's not indecent. It doesn't have the yokes, but it does have the nice long sleeves. I love how it looks on her with that skirt. That skirt's also very nice. I wish this one has. You can also make it sleeveless, which I like. I like the little addition of the tie here. This one looks like it's got buttons down the front. Yeah, there are some buttons down the front there. So that's cool. Is that another option? Yes, it is. Option A. So I like that they have picked out some different options for you. I personally wouldn't, I would put um, elastic in the bottom of these sleeves like this version or I would cuff them. I do really like this version. I, I like these little details here. So I like that they've got more than one look for you there. And I love the fact that you can wear a top like this, which is exactly how I would want to wear it. Nicely bl blues on, is that the word? N nicely kind of like artfully arranged, but you knowing that if you do that, it's not going to go everywhere and you're not going to have to tuck it all back in and then hope that it looks all right or go and find a mirror and yeah i that that's my i think that's why i don't wear tops very often i think that's why i wear dresses and stuff more often is because i'm always worried that it's all going to come untucked and things like that so i love the fact that bodysuits are back in i love the fact that pattern companies are coming out with them for us and uh yeah this one is gorgeous and i believe i have it in my stash if i don't i'm certainly going to be adding it to my stash because this will also be a really good stash buster for some of the fabrics that i have down in the main house that are set aside to be making tops so uh yeah it's gonna also save you 345 pounds so when I was going through Matches Fashion, I also came across this Givenchy Lace Balloon Sleeve Roll Body Neck, and it is stunning. I love those sleeves. They are absolutely gorgeous. It is £1,185. That's a lot of money. And it is 87% viscose, 10% polyamide, 3% elastane, and the sleeves are... 70% cotton and 30% polyamide. Now I have a lot of scraps of beautiful lace in my stash from having dresses and things like that made that I absolutely refuse to get rid of. And I love this idea. I think this is a really, really good idea. There will be some finessing of getting the sleeve onto or a non-stretch sleeve onto a stretch material for the body but that's doable it is doable it will take some patience but you can do that when i saw this one i thought i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous i can imagine myself wearing this i can imagine myself wearing this exact one with my black jeans and some really cool boots quite a lot like some uh, sort of long multi-tiered necklace and a fabulous bag and just really enjoying that entire look i think that would look awesome but i don't have £1,185 to spend and I don't want to spend £1,185 on a jumpsuit. So I have two patterns for you for this one because there's a simplicity pattern that I was given by the lovely Karen two Christmases ago now that I have made and I need to make again. Then there are some other simplicity patterns that I have that I think will give you many, many options for this. So let's have a look. So the bodysuit is the 8513 and as I say, I have made this. I have made version A. It is incredibly booby incredibly booby so i you know i kind of powered ahead with that one thinking yeah i'll be fine and oh my goodness so booby i have perfected the fit of the bottom of it but i do need to work on the fit of the top because whilst it was very booby it was also it was also giant around here because i'd gone by the size of my bust and i should have gone by that my high bust so i have some tweaking to do to this pattern but i love it i absolutely love it and view e has the neckline that we want that we're after for the Givenchy one so we have this one here there are some bell sleeves that you could use and you could just cuff those there is lots and lots of sleeve options on this one I know Liz from Liz Sews has made view C with the crossover front I want to do that one as well I really like this lace-up one I just need to make it a little bit less scandalous by raising up the point of it a little bit more but I, I I just love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. There is the 8513 for the body of the Givenchy bodysuit. And then Simplicity do these amazing sleeve patterns, which I have. It was kind of sort of like the bottom of View C, but with the top of View A that I was thinking would work really well for this Givenchy one. I can't remember exactly how these work. I think it comes with the arm side 
for a bodice so that you can put it over the bodice you're working with and transfer over that detail but I haven't used one of these and I haven't made one of these so I need to look into that but these are sleeve patterns that are designed to be smooshed onto bodices that you have that fit you well that will then give you lots and lots of different looks particularly of E that's a really interesting um um, detail going on there and these are pretty cool as well but as I say it was kind of C that I saw now let's see yeah C that I really liked here and I would I thought that C would give you a really good base for this balloon sleeved Givenchy bodysuit it's two patterns 8506 and 8513 and smooshing those together you could get yourself something that resembles this and would be again I can't see why it doesn't have to be lace it could be again fabrics that you have in your stash this could be a really good way of having sort of fancy sleeves maybe a gilet over the top so many possibilities with this and it would be a very good um, scrap buster as well how have they styled it not overly keen on that but I do love how it looks on a person I like I wouldn't wear it with the snake skin myself I probably like like I said I probably have black jeans on with that but uh, yeah it's just beautiful I love it love it so much not gonna pay 1185 quid for it though okay so next up we have these Peter Palotto high-rise floral brocade flared trousers these are awesome absolutely awesome and I think there's even a jacket yeah there's a jacket that goes with it I just love that I'd want them to be a bit longer on her actually I want them to kind of like hit the top of her shoes rather than show that much shoe is that just me how would you how, how would you wear those they have piping details in them they are fly fronted I think they have pockets they are made of polyester and acetate and they are 1195 pounds so they are expensive trousers but they are awesome absolutely awesome i love those i was talking about the new look 6560 shirt that i've made recently with the balloon sleeves that i i styled it with some skinny jeans and i also styled it with some wrap around trousers i also think it would look really really cool styled with some flares and when i saw these the first pattern that came to mind was the mccall's 8007 trousers and they are pretty much they're probably a bit wider in the flare in fact they're definitely wider in the flare aren't they but there's no reason you can't taper that out but i just saw these and i thought oh they're perfect i kind of like that round detail on the butt so there is there is there are some differences between these and the peter Pilotto ones so yeah that one goes straight up it doesn't have the rounded detail but you know i kind of like it <laughs> the overall idea is there and i think they look awesome and i totally can see myself making floral brocade flares because yeah that's me you know i'm nice and subtle and understated and like to blend into the background wherever i am but i yeah i love that i thought it was awesome that is my pick the 8007 it's one of mccall's new releases for this autumn winter i just i love it i think it's awesome and i think in a i mean it doesn't necessarily even have to be a brocade i have some lady mcelroy cotton twills that have some stretch in them that would look awesome in this as well also just plain denim i can see myself wearing these in plain de denim yeah i probably could see myself actually making a suit to go with it see they look like they're a better length on this lady than they are on the other one i would i would want them to kind of just show the toe of my shoe rather than all of my shoe like that brocade flares who knew so for this particular pick i was going through and i saw it and i fell in love with the print and i i, I love the style and it is a O montclair genius richard quinn leopard and hibiscus print high neck top it's 480 pounds i think this is actually part of their ski wear range yeah there is a matching jacket oh, i love the matching jacket is that pattern matched across the back is that that is pattern matched across the back that's actually one of the first times that i have seen pattern matching nearly perfectly but even bothered with even with these expensive items i think big bird noticed on one of the other ones that they hadn't even bothered to pattern match the back of a, like a two thousand pound dress that jacket is cool i would wear that jacket this particular top i don't even need to tell you do i it is basically the named paola turtleneck tee that's pretty much the same one you it doesn't have the seam down the back which the this one does but you know that means that you don't have to worry about pattern matching if you do happen to find a fabulous print like this 
it's 74% uh, polyamide and 26% elastane so you would want a nice stretchy knit to go with that. Paola t-shirt says that you want 50% stretch and the sample is made up in a rayon blended jersey which is beautiful and probably what I in fact it is definitely what I'm going to make mine out of because I have this pattern and I will be making it. Mine are probably going to start off life fairly plain and solid colours but if I can find something like this one I want it but it's definitely I'm not willing to pay £480 for it but that is absolutely awesome and it would be the sort of thing that I have seen some Club Monaco rompers or jump uh, jumpsuit that are kind of pinafore style and I think that would look really cool over like a really sort of navy one of those or a black one of those I think that would look awesome again I'm also not going to spend money on a Club Monaco one and I can make it myself with a particular pattern not sure you that this time though I will show you that at another point in the future I have one more pattern I saw these and I just went they're amazing and then I saw the name of the designer and I was like I'm not going to be able to say that but I still need to include them because they are awesome and I know exactly what pattern I want to use to recreate the look so they are Vika Gazinskia Gazinskiaia very sorry I'm very very sorry you make beautiful trousers but I cannot pronounce your name they are high-rise wool twill palazzo trousers they are 810 pounds they're 100% wool I like that they are beautiful they have a matching jacket wouldn't make the matching jacket don't think but I really really like those trousers so these I saw these and the front pleats here are what reminded me of the Esther Victory Patterns trousers. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're not exactly the same. This one has a fly front. The Esther trousers have a zip in the back, I think. I want to say they have a zip in the back. And closes, so they have waistband closes with an invisible zip and a button at the centre back. It has darts at the back. This one has a single dart at the back. The Esther trousers have a double dart at the back. The pleat is more pronounced on the Esther trousers, I believe. I really like how they look though. I think they are absolutely beautiful. I know they're not exactly the same as these ones, but they are similar enough that you could totally get the look for a fraction of the price. It's £810 for high-rise wool twill palazzo trousers and uh, the Esther pattern is 16 Canadian dollars so a bit different and again I appreciate wool is expensive so these are not going to be the cheapest make that you've ever done if you use 100% wool but it's going to be something that if you use a classic print or a classic colour that you love will last you for a very very long time. Highly recommend you line them if you're going to use wool because ouchy next to the skin don't want that but yeah they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous and it just really really reminded me of these trousers here which I love and need to make these are the 10 designer items that I have picked out to find patterns that you could totally make the look for less I really really love this lineup I think it's gorgeous the scrunchie I'm sorry I had to include the scrunchie I thought that was hilarious 75 pound for a scrunchie is ridiculous I just love every single piece of clothing that I have found here I really enjoy autumn winter fashion I like layering I like making coats I like uh, different knitwears and things like that so I'm really excited to get some of these things made now obviously I'm not going to be able to make every single thing on this list I'm not going to be able to make every sing single thing on from these videos that I show you I would love to I would love to have the time the energy and the money to actually make all of these things because I love them all that's why I show them to you but it's not going to be something that I'm going to be able to go and next month's lookbook is the 10 items that I showed you from the get the, get the look for less video that's not the purpose of these videos it is to show you that the designer items out there are gorgeous can be used as inspiration and you can totally make something similar yourself that fits you well in the fabrics that you love for a fraction of the cost i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye